You can be in the midst of miracles, and really, if you think about it, every day is a miracle. You got breath, that's a miracle. Don't take it for granted. The fact that we're here is a miracle. And then we're saved is on top, is in, in even more so. But the fact is, every day, every time you have breath, it's a gift from God. What you do with it is your gift back to God. You can be in the midst of miracles and not be overwhelmed. Let's look at all the people who are in life. You know, they're in this life where everything once was miraculous, but they're, they're, they're just, they're living a, a life with nothing. The Hebrews had miracles. Now, 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 the Hebrews, okay, went through the sea. Then they're in the wilderness, and how do they eat? There's no McDonald's. There's nothing there. They, meet, they eat by manna. Manna from heaven. Imagine that. Every day, there's a rain of a bread-like thing. Imagine that. Every day, you get your meal from heaven. In the morning, you get up. You could set up a table, set up a bowl, plate, comes down. Just wait for it. Every day. But after a while, you could get used to it. Oh, okay, I did. The first day, it was amazing. By the fifth week, okay, I'm used to it, you know. No big way. You know, breakfast is late. What's taking them so long? The service is slow. I didn't order this. Did you order this? But remember, they're getting this every day. You know, so when you look later, when the Hebrews are complaining, you say, how could they complain about that? You know, they want, they want onions. They want garlic. What's that about? They want Italian food. You know, what's that about when they're getting fed from heaven? Because you get, can get used to a miracle and you lose the power. You know, because oh, every day it's manna. We don't know what it tastes like, you know, but manna, you know, filet of manna, egg foo manna, egg McManna, you know, refried manna, manicotti, you know, they always have that. Can we at least have, to, have some fries with it, some Coke with it, you know? They actually got to the point where they were fed up with a miracle. You know, that's how at first time overwhelmed. But here's the thing. We say manna, okay? But manna is a Hebrew word, not an English word. And manna is filled with an, a, a, a really cool th meaning to it. Manna is not just a word, it's a Hebrew sentence. It's a Hebrew sentence. Ma in Hebrew means what? And you go to Hebrew, you go to Israel, they'll say, mazeh, what's this? You know, na here in this case means, put it together, ma na means what is it? That's what it means. It came down and they said, what is it? And so they said, it's manna. They said, okay, manna. That's how you get that nice thing. Your ministries are called manna from heaven, manna, daily manna, all that. Manna, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of Isra Israelis saying, what is it? That's what it means. But there's something about that because they were wondering. They were saying, what is this? There's food from heaven. Yeah, food from heaven. See, in your salvation, you always need that. You went through the, you went through the Red Sea. And now you need to be saying mana. What is it? Wow, I don't understand it. How, how could, you know, in other words, let me say this. You, you, the other thing is, that, yeah, you know, you're born again. Okay, I'm born again. I know all about that now. I've heard it for a long time. God so loved the world. He gave his only son. I know all that. I know all that. Well, stop knowing everything because you don't know everything because there's always more to God than you ever know. And there's always more to his love than you'll ever know. It's always, we don't know one-tenth of God. Okay, we don't know one tenth of salvation, and that's the way we have to. Now, you know, when you first came to the Lord, that was your attitude because I don't know anything. You know, now you think you know, and you don't know. Then you knew you didn't know, and so you knew. Saying I don't understand it, and that's why you were open to God. Because when you when you are open to God, look, Lord, show me. I don't know the half of it. Well, you say I've been in the Lord thirty years. It doesn't matter. Paul was in the year, in the Lord thirty years, and he still said he said that I might know Him. The guy who wrote so much of the Bible saying, I don't know the half of him, and I want to know more of him. You see, that's the way to do it. Mana, Lord, show me something new. I don't know. I want to know, I want to know more of you. I want to know more. I don't understand. You say, well, I understand God loves you. No, you shouldn't understand how God loves you. It's, I don't know how God can love me. That's the miracle of it. I don't understand how I can be saved. So how can we be called the children of God, John? God is so amazing that you say, I don't understand. I don't know the half of you, Lord. When you say, when you say manna, then you are opening yourself up to the manna of heaven to be filled by God. When you have the manna attitude, what is it? When you open up the Bible, don't open the Bible like, I know it. Okay, I've seen that scripture before. It's like, Lord, read the scripture as if you never read it before. Read the scripture. Take one word. I mean, you know, know the context. You know in your head, but in your heart, it's got to be the first time. Every time you look at it, it's got to be the first time. 
because he'll tell you something new. It's living and alive. Mana, when you open up with mana, like when I, there are times I open up, Lord, just show me something. You know, I, you know the times I look at the Bible, I say, Lord, how did you get that in there? I never saw that before. You know, has that ever happened to you? I never saw that. I've read the Bible. I never saw that. God, did you sneak it in? How did you do that? It's like, because it's new. It's new. His mercies are new every morning. His word is even new every morning. To say, what is it? And when you do that, you're going to be open to getting something from heaven. That, I always say, that's how I approach the Bible. I, not that I know it. Lord, there's something new. Show me. Show me. Receive the word. If Paul could say that I might know him, you certainly can too. I can certainly too. We need to stay in the wonder of God or get back to it. Get back to your first love. And you know, when you get, you get back to your first love, you're getting back to being in love. Some people have an issue with, oh, don't say in love. You know, it's just love God, no feeling. No, God is also a God of feeling. You know, we don't go by feelings, but he, he delights in us. It says he'll shout over us. He'll be quiet in his love for us. So you have to be in love with God. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.